Back on TC Live, have you checked out tennis.com today? If you have, you've seen the quiz on Madison Keys. How well do you know the former U.S. Open finalist? Donna Vekic and Maria Sakari doing some glossy cover work. And the TC podcast featuring our own Paul Anacone with his breakdown of the not Cincinnati draw. All that and more at tennis.com. So this is an item uh, requested by Andy Roddick himself. This is a look at the old Rownich uh, pre-pandemic, yeah. very buttoned up in the hair. And remember, his hair had its own Twitter account. Well, look at this yeah. is the post-pandemic wild and wooly Rownich. Andy, which do you prefer? Uh, I like I like the new one. I, I, I never thought I'd see Milos Rownich with a permanent. My mother Blanche is probably watching. <laughs> I haven't seen that since 1989 on Leopold Lane in Austin, Texas. Uh, I, I'm all for the new look. I like the permanent. The slick thing was fine, too, but it's nice to have options if you're Raonic. So you're thinking this is a perm that he got like, chemicals put in there? You're thinking this is not his natural look? I, I, I don't know the exact process. All I'm just saying that looks like a permanent gem. <laughs> I was just thinking that maybe you let him borrow your gel, your hair products for the, you know, the pre-COVID <laughs> hair, and now he's gone natural. That's what I was vibing. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm really into it. <laughs> if, if it is a permanent, somewhere he had to sit in a chair with curlers and chemicals, and someone has a photo of that. Hey, please send it I, in I if it exists. It's natural. It worked for Jimmy Connors. Jimmy used to rock a sweet perm. Really? Yes, he did. Did he really? Oh, it was money. Oh, yeah. Is Brett Connors in the control room? Could he possibly Brett text us? He's that. not. He's off today. Oh, yeah. He'd like it, was, it was natural, money. though. Yeah. Um, all right. So listen, you did the. You're, you're great at the real or not real, Andy. Usually, <laughs> it turns out we we had the gems life example yesterday of Alina Svitolina firing those tennis balls at her her boyfriend uh, Gael Monfils, and and you made the judgment that this was real, and uh, we've sent this to the lab. And uh, CSI Culver City has told us that is not real. What? It's 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 definitely real um, because I, I, it's a different take. Yesterday it just looked real. Today I'm positive it's real because there is no way that there are enough people bored enough. Spitalina and Monfius can't be bored enough to actually edit that video and take the time <laughs> to do it. And I know Huska and everyone at Tennis Channel, there's no way they were bored enough to go home last night and be like, oh, what should we do? We should really drill down on this and come up with this song. No. It's, it, that was real. That was a real video. All right. We're, we're not saying that our people edited it, and we're not saying that Gael and Elena edited it, but somebody, we did a Zapruder film analysis of that, and there, it, there were edits. Okay, so what about this one? This is Kamiko Date. Is it Andy? Is this real or not real? This is an update. That's real because the guy's not like there's it's it, you when you don't have the blink thing and you don't think it's coming at your grill like it, that's that's not that I mean that's not that big of a deal I would and look at his expression after he's yeah. like whoa that was close yeah Bro. this one I'm not I, I mean we this I hope I do hope this thing has legs just pegging people with with balls <laughs> I, hope, I, mean, hope, I hope we keep doing this because eventually there's going to be a hit this was basically every day at practice at Davis Cup when you were on the team butts up after whoever lost the bet. That's factual. I didn't get to get that close, though. But by the way, Kamiko Date is 49 years old. I believe she still has rankings points. That, that's just an aside. But uh, before we had to break and before you go for the night, Andy, uh, your requests are our command. And so Huska pulled this one out of the files for you. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So there it good. is. That's going it's way so back. Good. That's pre Nike. That's Diodora, that's... ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and, and... I, I was thinking. I was thinking more like the black striped shirt with the red sleeves and, and like kind of the, hey, the, the. And if you look really close, there's a player gift watch on my wrist that would, would have been given to me that week. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Can we say a happy belated also to Jim? That's right. That's it right. was your birthday last week. It was my birthday. A big, big birthday, big, possibly. Big birthday, yeah. You want to say it? Put the five handle on it, yeah. <laughs> mm. Doesn't I look don't know. a day. You're, you're, I think his quads still his quads look just as good at 50. I'm sure. Yes, uh, I appreciate that. that. Last picture. Yeah, that's yeah. some of the kindest thing anyone's ever said. Well, uh, I didn't think that's where we'd end with Andy complimenting yep. Jim's quads, but you know it's Sunday and uh, it's happy hour. Andy, have uh, a lovely Sunday evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Awesome. Just give us the Emmy now. It's all good. <laughs> it's in the mail. At least that's what they yeah. tell me. They've been telling me for years. Uh, we'll take sure. a break. Look ahead to tomorrow, Blockbuster Monday.